Room for one more? Hi. Hey. Hey. Right, Mike, good to see you Long again. Time no see. Might be a little bit crazy, but I want to find my friend's uh, sunken landing craft off of the coast of Normandy. What kind of challenges do you think I'm going to face? Do you dive? No. Oh, OK. Right. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> <laughs> My name is John Henry Phillips and I'm a 25-year-old archaeologist. I love 20th century conflict history, Second World War, First World War. In 2015, I was in Normandy and I met a really gentle and sweet man called Patrick Thomas. Patrick! Yeah, John? How are you? All right. In the Royal Navy, I was a telegraphist. That was when we heard Neville Chamberlain say, we are now at war with Germany. And he told me the story of how he'd been on a landing craft that landed at Sword Beach. The next thing I knew, we were underwater. And then had sadly been sunk with most of the crew going to the bottom of the sea. I'm probably the only survivor. I should imagine I'm the only one who's left. And I made this promise to find the wreck. No one knows where it is. No one knows where it went down. Where do you think it might be, Patrick? About there, was it? Yeah, it'd be about there. In the bow. There are these clear moments and images in his story that, that stick with him. And which way's Normandy? I've lost my Boy Scout thing on that one. <laughs> and I think it's about pasting those together. The way I view it is it's like looking for a needle in the haystack. Has well, John told you what he's going to do? Well, not precisely. Every time something new comes up, there's another question that needs answering. It is the landing craft, but it also had another identity on D-Day. But on D-Day, you remember seeing these really beautiful houses. Yes. We're in Normandy, um, and I've just tracked down these houses, and they're not in Leon's Mare at all. No. So I wonder if it could actually be a little bit further down the beach. So it does seem to be quite confusing. You know, when I said to Patrick, I'll find your ship, it seemed like a pretty simple task. Go to France, find where the ship went down, put a plaque up. You've got your work cut out, <laughs> I think, very much. This is the grave of Jack Barringer, Patrick's friend. And Paul Jack had disappeared beneath the waves. Of all the crew that went down, there's only four graves. As far as I can tell, I've been the only one visiting Jack Barringer's grave. This morning I'm off to meet the mayor of Leon saint mer Bonjour. Bonjour. What he'd think about putting a memorial in this town. I'm an archaeologist, I'm not a diver, I'm not a maritime explorer. Worryingly, it has become a bit of an obsession now and hoping to find it whilst he's still with us. It's like we're on a road trip together. Yes. <laughs> it's very soon this history will be beyond living memory and veterans will no longer be around. What can we do for you today? Everywhere we go, the women flirt with you, don't they? There's always this like horrible moment where you say bye and you don't know, like, is that going to be the last time you ever see this person? You don't get that many chances to change someone's life and to make sure that someone will never be forgotten. I think I know where it is. You might about to be showing me what could be Patrick's ship. <laughs> if I can find the ship, then I can change history and I can change Patrick's life. And Patrick's story will be there forever. It's just so nice that I've managed to do that for him. <laughs> I'll go and join my own ship now. <laughs> <laughs>